One of the first reactions that people have when they purchase a Lucky Savage or are given one as a gift or come to our shop and see what happens is, is they smell it. And that's where the history comes into play. That's where the memories come into play. That's where people flash back. They have good memories of that. You can't get that by buying a wallet at a department store. Hi, I'm Russ Riendo, founder of Lucky Savage Leather Goods, located in Lake Barrington, Illinois. I got the idea about repurposing baseball gloves into leather goods in 2016. Cubs won the World Series, as you know. One of the things that I think is important for people to consider with the Lucky Savage brand is the Lucky Savage brand begs to be seen. It is not shy. Lucky Savage likes to be on the table, in the boardroom, on the bar, at the kitchen table, at the breakfast club, in the networking meeting, in your golf cart. It wants to be seen. They're designed to be out. They're designed to be shown off. They are a conversation piece. They're a lot of fun. They stimulate conversation. They stimulate memories. They get people thinking differently about what you're talking about. So have fun with them. Show them off. Lucky Savage loves to be seen. So some of the products that I make here at Lucky Savage Leather include wallets, small and big wallets, cell phone cases, makeup cases, business card holder cases, gift card holder cases, pet rocks, sacred stones, sunglasses, reading glasses, wedding rings. Those are some of the things that we make at Lucky Savage. And if you have any ideas, give me a call. Send me a note, send me an email. The reality is, is that it takes close to three hours to make a finished product. From the time I buy the glove, find the glove, dismantle the glove, clean the glove, prepare the leather, um, lay it out, do the design work, cut it, lace it, stitch it, seal it, wax the edges, and I didn't even mention the sewing part of it. Now you've got almost three hours into a basic piece like this, so as I start to take apart the gloves, as I'm cutting the old lacing and taking the stuffing and stitching and coatings, what's happening is, is I'm paying attention to some of the natural things that occur in the glove. I'm looking at how the creases of the glove align with, maybe I wanna make a wallet out of the main square. Maybe I wanna make a phone case. Maybe I wanna make a key fob. Dismantling the glove with various scissors and knives and tools what happens is I'm getting a little more intimate knowledge of the glove. I'm starting to see things that are going to happen in the glove that you might not notice in terms of how the logo might pull out, or maybe there's some unique phrase, you know, finest in field, or maybe it has an autograph of a, a ball player that someone might like. So I'm looking for details to create balance and aesthetics that I might not see had I just, someone gave me a piece of leather and said design it. My wife Cheryl brings a great inspiration and a great perspective for the Lucky Savage brand. She brings insight from a woman's perspective because so many of our customers are women buying gifts for men that she is, has a great sense of style and color and proportion. She knows what products will fit and sometimes a very subtle change can make a big difference. People ask me many times, where do I get the inspiration? Where do I get the passion to do leather crafting? And I think leather crafting is no different than any other art form, whether it's painting, creating music, writing, drawing, crafting wood projects. Um, it's about creating something that wasn't there. It's repurposing something that was different. And, and I am very passionate about exploring those gifts that I've been given in terms of creativity and looking for that dormant joy in our lives. Sure, it's a leather mitt, but it represents more. It's like a photograph. It's a memento, it's a piece of jewelry, it's a keepsake, it's an heirloom to people that if they're willing to send this to me, I have to respect that. It's very personal for me and that's where I get the joy out of making these things for people. If you're looking for a unique gift, if you're looking to create a great memory for people or honor someone or recognize someone that's special in your life, call me. 
Maybe I can make you something very special.